step, what do you think the single biggest problem is? Um, I mean, how many points have we given up in two games on? It's got to be something crazy. Yeah, something like that. That's probably first and foremost. Um, if we get some stops and build momentum on that side of the floor, you know, it'll help our offense and obviously it'll help us establish ourselves in games early. Um, I think we've gone two straight games now, giving up double digit lead like in the first six minutes. And you're playing from behind and it's just not a good good not a good scenario for us, so we gotta figure that out. Seth, what did you think about the way that Terrence Ferguson was able to defend you tonight? He's active and whatnot. Um, I'm gonna see a crowd no matter what the situation is, so just gotta make the right decisions take the right shots and um, at the end of the day, you can talk about other people's defense all you want to is what we're not doing on our defensive end that you look up the scoreboard and just not in a good position to try to you know, make any impact on the offensive end and get you back in the game. So, um, you know, I just gotta figure that out. You, you knew somewhat of kind of this rebuild, retool was coming, but how jarring is actually experiencing it? It's not a good feeling, but you know, as uh, competitors that have expectations like 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 I do, like we do, um, that have been through this before, two games is not gonna deflate you. I mean, out there on the bench, it's kind of a weird feeling. Like uh, in the fourth quarter, just being on the wrong side of the the equation, but. Uh, Stick through it and just you know keep plugging away, identifying what the the issues are, um, and that everybody being you know committed to figuring it out. Um, that's the only way we're going to enjoy ourselves in, in any way, shape, or form, and feel like you know we're we're moving in a in a, in a better direction. Um, other than that, it's it is different, and you embrace the challenge. I mean. The NBA is a lot of ups and downs and different scenarios. Uh, Got to figure it out. Steph, what's it like playing this Thunder team without Russell Westbrook on the other side? Uh, I think it's, you know, this our first experience is, is different. Even seeing CP over there is different. Uh, you know, the guys that they have, but uh, this arena still has a you know, very unique atmosphere. and. Uh, yeah, we're really far removed from the battles that we used to have and you know those playoff series and all that type of stuff or the, the playoff series and just the back and forth and all the different storylines so unfamiliar territory for sure the defense obviously is kind of problem number one right now but why do you think the offense also kind of hasn't been able to get going? honestly i can't even judge our offense because we're getting taking the ball out of the basket every possession or getting you know giving them free throw attempts and all that type of stuff like it's just been been drowning on that side of the floor, so it's really hard to assess really what we're doing offensively because uh, we haven't been able to get in transition situations and the game's not at our pace, so the jury's still out on that one. Steph, everybody's trying to catch a rhythm, but specifically with D'Angelo, is there anything you guys can do to get him kind of going more than we've seen so far? This is going to come with time, I mean. <laughs> We've done things a certain way for so long, and he's he's seen it, and he knows how he can plug himself into it. But he has a very unique style as well. Um, it's just blending the two and figuring out what our certain pet play calls are. Um, understanding it's not just him; but we have other new guys that are trying to figure out our patterns. And I mean, being really like you want to take event, take for granted. Just that's everything being second nature for so long. You know, you can not have to call a play, come down, swing, swing. Everybody's in the right spot. You know where the reads are, and, and good things happen. We're not there yet, so um, it's just going to come with time and just making sure we don't let go of the rope, you know, before we even have a chance to establish ourselves. The first two games have been terrible, and we understand that. Um, 
80 more to go. He, he'd never been ejected before tonight, did it? For real? Yeah, he said at least. Um, Respect. Did that surprise you when he kind of unleashed a little bit? Uh, no, I mean, I've been there before too. Just sometimes you get a little frustrated and want to let it out, but I mean, we don't want that to be a pattern, so leave it here in OKC and keep it moving. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports analysis and highlights, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.